I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs and today's tutorial is about bowl pads. I was given this unique gift by a neighbor and I thought it was so fun that I wanted to do a tutorial on it. And what it's used for is you can put, if you use all um, cotton fibers, you can put it in the microwave so when you're heating up your hot soups or leftovers, you, your hands don't have to touch the hot bowl when you're pulling it out. And you can also use it for cold items, ice cream, and just, just, a, just a nice little, almost like a blanket around your bowl. So let me show you how easy it is to make. And it's even easier if you use 10 inch stackers. So 10 inch squares, you can pick these up anywhere, but if you have leftovers from a quilt project, why not use them in this unique project? And you just need two 10 inch squares of coordinating contrasting fabric. And the other thing that you need that um, usually you have lying around your house is some um, batting. And you just need 10 inch squares as well. So you can use your scraps to make this project. So you're going to put each 10 inch square on your batting just like that. Just kind of line it up. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to mark the batting and your, for your sew lines. Get your ruler. I just use a marking pencil. And you're just going to do a line corner to corner diagonally. And I didn't make a very dark line, so I'm going to go back over that. Okay, you're going to do that by two, times by two on both of them. Again, a marking pen would be great too. Okay, I'm going to take this to the machine and sew both these crosses. kind of chain piece. Just going to clip this and sew down the other side. Okay, let's take it over here. Clip the center like that. Now that you've got these two items sewn, you're going to mark right in the middle. You have that cross line that can be your guide. And you're going to go two inches down. Now I think I'll use a smaller ruler for this. And then you're going well, about, you can go two inches over. We're going to make this. You can change your dart size depending on what size bowl you want. You can center it by make, sh make sure you've got your center line there. Two inches down. I'm going to go two inches over. So I'm marking These I did an inch and a half, and since I would like um, a little tighter fit around my bowl, I'm doing two inches. Make sure that's centered. And mark. Just repeat on this. Essentially, you're just making darts. And when you're sewing your darts, uh, you line your two dots like this. You're going to start at your beginning point like that, back stitch, 
and then sew off the end. So I'm going to do all my darts and I'll bring it back here and show you how to finish it. Okay, we're going to start and we'll do a quick back stitch. Lock in that stitch and we're going all the way to our marked end. In, and you can back stitch if you want. And to save time, you can always um, do a little bit of chain. I like to try and do two things at once. Back stitch. Make sure that's lined up. just repeat that four times for each side. All right, you've got your two bow pads created. I'm just going to quickly cut off my darts. Well, a lot of times I check it, make sure, oh, it's good to go. So that one's done. Get these out of the way. Check that real fast. Good to go. You could easily trim these off with a rotary cutter as well. Okay, you're going to put them right sides together. And now you're going to line up your darts, grab some pins, line up your corners and just pin all the way around. And then when I'm finished pinning, I'm gonna to take to the machine, sew around all my edges, but leave at least about a two and a half inch wide opening to flip it inside out. Okay. So we've left our opening to turn inside out. I'm just gonna clip my corners like this. And let's flip inside out. There's my opening over here. Probably start at the back corner. And flip outside, inside out. I really like that clover turning tool. We use that a lot at Riley Blake Designs. And I'll show you how it works so easily on this. There's a little thread right there. Clip that. Just kind of pushes out your ends. Use just a little caution to not poke through your fabric. But I usually go underneath the seam side with the batting, so. Trim that off. Okay, my last corner. There. Give it a quick check. Looks good. Now the last thing you're going to do is kind of roll your, your opening. I'm just going to put a quick little pin in there. And you're going to top stitch the whole top section and I'll close that opening. So let's go finish up. Just going to do a little top stitch around all four sides. Okay, you've just finished.
top stitching around. Now you're just going to trim your stop and start and stop threads right there. Take a look at all your edges. Looks good. So try it out with your bowl. This one's a little more snug. It hugs the bowl a little more because I did two and a half inch darts widths. This one's inch and a half, so whatever you prefer. But now you have a quick and easy bowl pad.